More than 1,000 people packed the West End Community Center in downtown Greenville to hear former President Bill Clinton speak. He was in town to support his wife. WYFF News Force Nigel Robertson was there and joins us right here with more. Nigel? Former President Clinton was here just a few days ago and got such a great response from the upstate that he asked to come back today. It was a packed house and people only found out about it yesterday evening. He, of course, here campaigning for his wife, Hillary. The energy in the crowd was thick. Voters of all ages, of all races, here to hear a former president and rally the base to vote for Hillary Clinton. Well, I'm calling all of my friends to come out. I am, because I, I think it's well worth it. It's frustrating um, because there's so much negativity with this election, um, especially on the Republican side. Clinton talked about immigration, gun control, and spoke directly to young people. She never gives up and she won't give up on you. And she knows if we're going to go into the future together, we got to have shared prosperity, equal opportunity, and inclusive communities. If that's what you want, she's your candidate. Affordable education was another big topic. In fact, before this Greenville stop, Clinton was in Spartanburg touring Spartanburg Community College and seeing what the students are doing firsthand. America really ought to work the way a community college works. Think about it. There's no discrimination based on race or gender or sexual orientation. It's open to everybody. You learn something where you can get a good job at a good wage and disputes are resolved by the community. It's the way America ought to work. But in this room, it's not just about Hillary. And I like Bernie, I really do. But Ed, I'm sure you've heard this before, that uh, what happens if Trump wins the nomination? He and others say they want the strongest Democrat to face a possible Trump nomination. Former President Clinton agrees. I'm just telling you from the first time I met her to yesterday, she's the best change maker I've ever known. Now, if you vote in the Republican primary this Saturday, you cannot vote in the Democratic primary the week after. Again, the Democratic primary is February 27th.